Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the top three defensive formations in Madden 24. You want to be competitive, you want to be on a pro level, you got to get used to and comfortable running these formations if you want to be at the top of your game. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment anything you guys might be struggling with down below, and become a part of the Nodi Gang, Nodi Gang, Nodi Gang. And if you have nothing to comment, Man, just listen. Just join the FTA squad, the FTA gang. Squad up, baby. We are we are in full effect in the comment section lately, man. Shout out to the FTA squad. If you don't know what it stands for, it stands for For the Algorithm, and it helps push these videos to more and more people. So the more you guys post and like and comment, the more we grow. The more we grow, the more I post. The more I post, the more we grow. That's just you know, it's just a, it's just a, it's just an, it's just an ever ending loop. Now. Let's go over the top three playbooks, excuse me, not playbooks, formations in Madden 23, Madden 24. The best playbook in Madden 24 on defense is going to hands down be the 4-6 playbook. Why? Because you're going to be able to find all the formations that I talk about in this video in that playbook. That's why it's probably the most expensive playbook in Madden right now, and you have to start using it if you want to be on a pro level. Now, the first formation that we're going to be talking about is... Nickel 3-3. Three, three. It is one of the best formations in the game, and these are the playbooks where you can find them at. Pretty, again, 4-6 is going to be in all of these, so hop in the 4-6 playbook if you want to be competitive, pretty much. And we're going to go over one play in each of these playbooks to showcase why these are such good formations, and they're all pretty much going to be blitzes. So in Nickel 3-3, three, three, the best play here is Nickel Blitz 0, and the best thing about nickel 3-3 is that you can substitute safeties in the linebacker position. So now it becomes a 3-8 formation where you have eight DBs and three linemen. That's pretty much that's that's the formation. It, it, it essentially turns into a quarter formation, a prevent defense, if you will, without having to be in a prevent with decent run defense. So the best play in this formation is nickel blitz zero. And I'm going to go ahead and everything is going to be set to base align. I'm just going to turn auto flip off. And we're just going to go over one of the easiest blitzes in this formation. So what, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come out, blitz all your linebackers, contain, shift the opposite side of where the defensive back that is blitzing is. And then, I don't know why this guy's up here, but he should be down here. And then motion this guy in, and then that's it. So you see that you have one guy left that's not doing anything. We're going to take him and put him manned up on somebody, anybody. And then the blitz should come in, scream in. And I'm going to show the instant replay on that because I do have a very, very bad D line right, right now. So I'm going to show the instant replay just to show you what happened with my uh, with my loop, because this is also a looping blitz, by the way. So he's so slow and fat that it took him a little a little too long to actually loop around. Yep took him it took him too long to loop but you end up getting a ton of pressure out of this uh simply because you have a blitzing db and you have a loop coming from the other side which means that it's going to be very very difficult for your opponent to get comfortable on offense if you're sending a blitz of this caliber and the best you know again you're adding to the best parts about this for formation it's simply the fact that you can sit there and take everything that's on the field and adjust however it is that you want and go absolutely crazy like this is like weirdo adjustments here but this is going to be something that's going to be disruptive and it's going to stop your opponent from being comfortable in the pocket because we're going to be sending our blitz and then making our adjustments to you know coordinate with whatever blitz that we're running and then afterwards we're going to be able to just switch up and go full full coverage where we're going to be able to clamp down anybody that's that, that we're playing nickel three three if you guys haven't start using it it's one of the best defensive if not the best defensive formation in the game currently now Number two on this list is going to be the infamous dollar three two or two three, however they want to call it in this game. This is another formation where you're going to be able to substitute safeties in this middle linebacker position. Um, well, these are the playbooks where that you can find them at, but you can also substitute sa uh, safeties in the middle linebacker position, making it a an eight three formation, just like the nickel three three. But one thing that I will like to know is in dollar, you will you are more susceptible to get beat by the run in this formation. So the best play in this one is going to be DB fire two. And the reasoning for that. It's it's a five man blitz. It's a five man blitz that's very consistent. And because most of the quarterbacks do one thing and it's kind of frustrating, but most of the quarterbacks, as soon as you call hike, 
they drift back a little bit. So this guy will end up doing that, right? He'll end up drifting back a little bit, which means you won't be able to drift back anymore unless, you know, that guy, like one of the DBs get picked up. So I'm going to showcase exactly what I mean by the DBs getting picked up because the blitz is fairly decent and you see how he kind of drops back a little bit now if you drop back any more in this game those you know you're in a contain when you're running this defense you're going to pinch everybody that's on your d-line and you're going to contain now all the adjustments after that those are all up to you but it's one of the easiest blitzes and easiest pressure blitzes to set up in the game you might not always come in but you're always going to sit there and get a lot of pressure and that's why people like running dollar it you have you have defensive coverage you know you're you're able to max protect everything if if you want simply by let's just go in a cover two and then you know man up our guys that we want to man up and then you again you have a lot of you have a lot of coverage options in this in this formation and my my adjustments are lagging out right right now but you have a lot of coverage options in this formation and it makes it so that if you are sending some kind of blitz they have to be, they have to account for that they have to move up in the pocket and if they don't the contains that you have on your field they end up they end up pretty much going crazy and just like that it's frustrating it's another defense that's gonna frustrate your opponents and that is what we're looking for we're looking for that option to frustrate whoever it is that's on our field dollar three two number two on this list of the best formations in madden 23 and number three is going to be probably the best it, it for some reason it gets sheds up the middle it gets everything that you need um it gets an a gap whatever the case is mike blitz zero out of nickel three three five excuse me three three cub so these are the playbooks where you're going to be able to find them at all of them pretty much there's a very very large number of playbooks uh one two three four five six seven and then we got 21 different playbooks awesome so now this formation is paired best with nickel three three why because we're going to go ahead and we're going to come out in nickel three three and audible down into the nickel 33 cub what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to have these three safeties that you have in the nickel 33 and you're going to be able to substitute them in the nickel 33 cub because you want safeties in these outline these outside linebacker positions because it will just make your defense that much better now for this specifically i'm not going to call 33 and audible into it but that is the way that people run it that's the way that professionals run it the competitive pros they run it by calling th nickel 33 first and then they audible into nickel 33 cub and that's exactly what you're going to want to do and then you're going to want to call mike blitz you're going to audible into mike blitz or cover four show two remember if you're calling cover four show two turn on your matching turn on your match for your uh, zone coverage um and then for this specifically you're going to want to turn off your base your base auto alignment and put your auto flip defensive play call on just for this one that's why i saved this for for the last because you're not going to call this the same as you would as the nickel three three nickel three three you would call base uh, dollar you would call base and nickel three three cub you would call with default alignment on so we're just going to call mike blitz and then on the defensive side boom and again we've actually gone over this blitz and it's probably the easiest one to set up and boom we're gonna end up oh the guy the fat guy's there again ah i don't have i don't have i don't have the speedsters that i want on the line so the fat guy's and gonna end up messing up my my gapper here as you can see he should have ran right through but he's so fat and slow i think he's a 60 overall lineman that he actually ends up messing up my blitz but a lot of the times you end up getting the pressure from the outside but as you can see we want that we we, we want that gap pressure um another way that you can send it is simply just blitzing everybody and then just you know hovering above the line and potentially up oh, my user ended up getting caught up and again the the fat guy up the middle ends up messing up well regardless of such you guys know exactly how this mid blitz situation goes this is one of the most popular blitzes in the game and it just simply is one of those things oh he he almost got through just one of those things that again if you drop if you drop back too far your contains end up going crazy if you go towards the interior of the d line the d line goes crazy and pretty much wraps you up and then if you want it's another situation where you can set up some some pretty solid 
you know, max protect kind of situation, situational defense. And you can do something like this where you're sending only three people. And this also works against a lot of people because a lot of people, they try to work on their pocket. And for some reason, now in this situation, it's probably not going to work simply because, again, I have a very, very bad O-line. And if you guys watch my pass protection video, as you can see, my my, my pocket presence is kind of crazy. So unless they have good D-linemen, Unless you have good D linemen, don't set the th don't send the three. But I believe that you only need like a basic a basic number of of you know power move stats or finesse move stats for this formation to actually work decent for you. Right now, I have Aiden Hutchinson, Reggie White, and I forget who my who my defensive tackle is. But those guys end up doing a pretty pretty good job at getting pressure up the middle. So if you guys have a good team like a Javon Kears on the line and stuff like that. I recommend you use this formation and from time to time, set up your blitz as such, right? And then out of nowhere, go ahead and send your full coverage, whatever it is that you want to send uh, and make it so that they have to pay for, you know, kind of, you know, getting scared of the blitz. And as you should, the blitz is probably one of the most important things in Madden to be a good player and it will help stop your opponent in their tracks and pretty much frustrate them all the way down the field. These are the top three formations in Madden 24 with a little tidbit and a little play to help you get started. Hopefully you guys start using these because these are the 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 competitive. These are the top three echelon of 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 competitive Madden right now. These are the best formations that everybody's pretty much using. And an honorable mention is probably the big nickel over G. And I think this playbook actually has that in it as well. Um, I could be wrong, but yes, this playbook also has big nickel over G. So again, hop in the four, six playbook. If you want to be competitive, because it has all the formations that you can ever want or need to compete. My name is Pony Montana. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. Hopefully you guys take this message and start being, start trying to play a little bit more competitive here because that's what this channel is for to turn you guys that are not as good to decent players to turn decent players to good players good players to great great to legendary and that's where and that's where we're going to stop this video at my name is Pony montana hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys in the next one man as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys